We all love to pet a cute little bunny, until the bunny turns out to be some kind of ferocious monster that wants to tear your face off. You never can tell with animals. They may look friendly, but if you catch them at the wrong moment, it could all turn out pretty nasty. There's some animals out there that you should never risk trying to pet though, no matter how cute. From the weirdest animal to the not-so-friendly dogs, here's the 20 cutest animals you should never touch. <sighs> Number 20. The Platypus the duck-billed platypus is a strange beast. When a stuffed platypus was first brought back to Europe for classification, London specialists believed it was a hoax, made up of a lot of other odd animals. The tail was a beaver, the body of an otter, and the face and feet of a duck. Furthermore, it is a venomous mammal that produces eggs. Anyone who has the misfortune of making an enemy of a platypus might experience excruciating pain from a nip by one of the male's deadly spurs on their ankles. If you ever see this cute animal, don't you dare touch it. They're around 20 inches long, including the tail, and weigh about 3 pounds. However, fossil records show that ancient platypuses were over 3 feet long. They live in Australia, where they dwell among a variety of other weird species around water sources, doing their business while making no sense. They were given the name duck moles by the British. That's a name that makes sense. Platypus is Greek for flatfoot, which is probably the last thing that that comes to mind when you think of unique features about this creature when you first see it. But anyway, despite this, platypus venom may one day be used to cure diseases. Platypus venom includes a hormone that might help with disease therapy, according to Australian researchers. GLP-1, glucagon-like peptide 1, is a hormone that encourages the production of insulin which decreases blood glucose levels. GLP-1 is produced by humans as well, and a modified form is already used to treat diabetes. Human GLP-1, on the other hand, degrades rapidly. Platypus GLP-1 has a considerably longer half-life and experts believe it may one day lead to novel diabetic. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Dingo. The dingo is an Australian dog breed with a long history. The dingo is a medium-sized canine with a lean, robust physique that has been developed for speed, agility, and endurance. Light ginger or tan, black and tan, or creamy white are the three main coat colorations of the dingo. Dingo attacks on people are uncommon in Australia, and when they do happen, they usually involve little children. Dingoes, on the other hand, pose a greater threat to livestock, particularly sheep and young calves. The Dingo Fence, which stretches 5,614 kilometers across southeast Australia, was built to protect cattle from assaults. Wild dogs are big predators, but they are considerably smaller than able-bodied adults so they pose little threat to them. However, disabled, lonely, outnumbered, or very small people, particularly babies and young children, can pose a severe threat. Dingoes and humans typically avoid one another. Close engagement between dingoes and people, particularly feeding dingoes, has led to dangerous habituation and assaults in some settings such as on Kigari and in other Northern Territory locales. Dingo assaults on cattle, on the other hand, are very regular and pose a major threat to Australia's livestock sector. Number 18. Tasmanian Devil Let's face it, the Tasmanian Devil is a curious little creature, but he doesn't whirl about like a tornado or make bizarre snarling noises when he's agitated, just in case you had the notion in your head. They do, however, have a number of other potentially hazardous characteristics. They are, first and foremost, hungry, 
in a day they may devour up to 40% of their own body weight. And they devour a lot of meat. In fact, they are the world's largest carnivorous marsupial, since its distant relative, the Tasmanian tiger, went extinct in the 19th century. Their main food is carrion, and they have one of the strongest bites in the world for their size, allowing them to shatter and eat bones. Although fossil records show that they thrived on mainland Australia until around 400 years ago, they are only found on the Australian island of Tasmania, explaining their name. Tasmanian devils are mostly harmless to people, preferring to escape rather than fight. However, if they become afraid and wrap their teeth around your legs, be prepared for some bone-crushing force. Number 17. The Gila Monster Now that we've had a devil, it's time for a true monster. The southwestern United States and the Mexican state of Sonora are home to these massive reptiles. These are large, slow-moving lizards that can reach a length of two feet. Along with their close relative, the Mexican beaded lizard, they are one of two venomous lizards endemic to North America. They are typically too sluggish to pose a concern to most humans, but they have a dreadful reputation for being able to spit venom, breathe deadly miasma, and leap several feet into the air, despite the fact that most of these claims are based on superstition rather than science. They do, however, have a strong bite and are known to grasp and even chew their victims to ensure that the greatest quantity of venom is delivered into their bodies. This bite can be exceedingly painful, but only in rare cases does it result in death. Although the Gila monster's venom is as deadly as that of a diamondback rattlesnake, it cannot produce as much as the rattlesnake. If you've been bitten, the easiest method to get it off is to completely immerse the lizard in water, otherwise you're in for an unpleasant ride. Number 16. Slow Loris our cousins, slow lorises, are part of the family. However, we shouldn't expect these cute small mammals to get along with people. They are the only venomous primates in the planet, and their bite may cause serious harm to humans. They're small, nocturnal, and dwell in the Southeast Asian forests, but little is known about their behaviors. We do know that when they are discovered, they cover their faces with their hands, earning them the nickname Malu Malu, which means shy one in some Indonesian languages. Despite their shy and nocturnal nature, slow lorises face a range of predators in the forest, including leopards, bears, eagles, orangutans, and snakes. The slow lorises' defense includes a color palette that mimics that of a cobra, and not just in appearance. When terrified, slow lorises lick a sexual gland on their arm, which releases chemicals that, when mixed with saliva, becomes very toxic. Freaky. Any subsequent bite will have disastrous consequences, including anaphylactic shock and perhaps death in humans. So be warned, this is a cobra masquerading as a monkey, not the other way around, despite the cute packaging. Number 15. The Cassowary Experts think that most dinosaurs were feathered rather than scaly like today's reptiles because birds are now acknowledged as a direct descendant of dinosaurs. The Australian cassowary, clearly the most dinosaur-like creature now surviving on the world, appears to corroborate this theory. The world's most lethal bird, as it's called, is wary of humans and domestic dogs, but would strike with ferocity if required. The blows may be extremely violent, with a strong pecking beak and incredibly sharp and powerful claws. There have been a few deaths documented, although they are unusual. Cassowaries will also attack vehicles and their own reflections and glass panes, shattering them, suggesting that they too have inherited a pea brain from the dinosaurs. The introduction of 24 million invasive domestic pigs, which have already caused 100 extinctions of native flora, and while wildlife in Australia. 
has destroyed the habitat of the scaled-down velociraptors, and the Australian rainforest now only contains 2,000 individuals. So perhaps now is the moment to intervene and save the famous angry bird from oblivion. Number 14. The Pufferfish the pufferfish is unquestionably one of the world's most bizarre creatures, not just in the ocean. When they are threatened, they swiftly ingest water or air, forcing their loose skin to inflate into a ball and the many spikes that typically lie flat on the epidermis to stand erect, making this a far less appetizing feast. There are 120 species of pufferfish, all of which come in a variety of shapes and sizes, with many of them boasting vibrant colors. As most people know, bright colors in the animal realm often act as a warning, and the pufferfish are no exception. If a brave or hungry predator manages to swallow all of the spikes, he or she will be in for a nasty surprise, as this aquatic hedgehog is also very poisonous. In actuality, each pufferfish bears a fatal dose of tetrodotoxin, a poison that is 1,200 times more poisonous than cyanide. So it might surprise you to discover that this highly lethal fish is a popular Japanese delicacy in which experienced chefs remove the poisonous part of the fish, leaving only the safe parts. A bad cut, on the other hand, means instant death for the diner, and fugu fans seldom make it home from the restaurant. A one-of-a-kind fish yields a one-of-a-kind and rather difficult meal. Number 13. Leopard Seal the leopard seal is found in the Antarctic waters and is noted for its long, muscular body that can grow to 11.5 feet long and weigh up to 1,300 pounds. They have abnormally large heads with a large jaw and a ferocious set of teeth, and their skull mimics those of predatory reptiles. allowing them to administer a strong bite. These seals eat a broad variety of food and are extremely adaptive, which has allowed them to thrive in the harsh circumstances of the frigid Antarctic. They can scoop krill out of the ocean, but they also consume fish, octopus, smaller seals, and penguins. They have a particularly ruthless technique for preying on penguins. They wait in the shallows for a penguin to enter the water before attacking. The seal then grabs the animal by the feet and thrashes it against the water's surface until it is flayed and dead, before devouring the leftover bits. Human assaults are uncommon, although this is owing to the small number of people that swim in Antarctic seas. The seals would certainly attack if given the opportunity, and one fatality has been reported when a researcher was attacked and eaten by a leopard seal in 2003. Number 12. Blue Ringed Octopus When you think about it, octopuses are really bizarre creatures. Is there another animal on this planet that appears more like a space invader than the octopus? Despite the fact that they are quite recognizable to us. However, unlike the Alien series facehuggers, most octopuses are rather harmless. Even the gigantic ones, except for one octopus species, the blue ringed octopus. And this isn't some huge, ship eaten kraken that keeps elderly sailors up at night screaming. It's a little blue octopus, yet it's also the only venomous species that poses a hazard to people. And it's a menace to say the least, this swimming ball of neurotoxicity may be the size of a golf ball, but it contains enough venom to kill 25 humans in one dosage. To make things even more cruel, it also injects you with a painkiller, so you don't even realize you've been stung. These brilliantly colored Satan spawn are also quite violent and like attacking. Even if you do realize you've been bitten, there's no anti-venom available. Someone kindly resend these things to hell. Number 11. Kangaroo 
The kangaroo belongs to the Macropodidae family of marsupials. The name is commonly used to refer to the red kangaroo as well as the antilopine kangaroo, eastern grey kangaroo, and western grey kangaroo, which are all members of this family. Australia and New Guinea are home to kangaroos. According to the Australian government, 42.8 million kangaroos lived in Australia's commercial harvest regions in 2019, down from 53.2 million in 2013. For Aboriginal Australians, the kangaroo has has long been a valuable animal because of its meat, skin, bone, and tendon. Kangaroo skins were also used for fun. For example, some tribes are said to have used a stuffed kangaroo scrotum as a ball for the traditional football game of Marn Grook. In addition, the kangaroo played a vital role in dreaming stories and rights. The Northern Territory's Aharange is a popular kangaroo dreaming location. There are rare documented cases of kangaroos attacking humans without provocation. Nevertheless, three such unprovoked assaults in 2004 sparked worries of the marsupials contracting a rabies-like illness. The sole incidence of a fatality from a kangaroo assault that has been properly reported happened in New South Wales in 1936. When a hunter attempted to save his two dogs from a raging brawl, he was killed. Extreme thirst and hunger have also been proposed as factors for unpredictable and hazardous kangaroo behavior. A male red kangaroo assaulted a 94-year-old woman in her own backyard in July 2011, as well as her son and two responding police officers. After the incident, the kangaroo was pepper sprayed and later put down. Number 10. Panda Bear this zoo visitor from the Chinese province of Yanqi bragged about his panda knowledge. Aren't they just the cutest, awkward fluff balls? He climbed into the cage to pet the adorable, charmed fur ball. They are called panda bears, he was soon reminded. They may spend their days eating bamboo, but they have the same fangs, claws, and power as ordinary bears, and they aren't hesitant to use them when they feel threatened. The panda immediately pounced on this idiot's leg, biting hard and then utilized its bigger size to overpower the man who was soon in danger. Is this the first time a group of people screamed so cute as they saw someone getting attacked by a large animal? The man eventually got out, but not before seriously hurting his leg and completely spoiling the panda's day. His next test will almost certainly come from the Chinese officials, who will surely have a long list of questions for him to answer. Do not approach a big panda in the wild, no matter how cute a video of one you've seen. They have tremendous grips and can deliver forceful bites capable of injuring a human limb. Number 9. Raccoon the raccoon, sometimes known as the common raccoon, to differentiate it from other species, is a medium-sized North American mammal. Three of the raccoon's most distinguishing characteristics are its very dexterous front paws, its face mask, and its ringed tail, all of which are motifs in indigenous people's myths about the animal. Raccoons are known for their intelligence, with studies showing that they can recall task solutions for at least three years. Raccoons originated in deciduous and mixed woods, But owing to their flexibility, they have expanded their range to include hilly regions, coastal marshes, and urban areas where they are considered pests by some homeowners. Raccoons have already spread over much of continental Europe, the Caucasus Mountains, and Japan as a result of escapes and planned imports in the mid-20th century. The rising number of raccoons in metropolitan areas has elicited a range of human emotions ranging from indignation to purposeful feeding. Raccoons who have no fear of humans are a source of concern for individuals who ascribe this feature to rabies. However, experts point out that this behavior is much more likely to be a behavioral adaptation to living in settings where humans are present on a regular basis for many Many generations. Raccoons typically do not prey on household cats and dogs, but there have been occasional reports of attacks. Number 8. Moose 
Although moose aren't more deadly than bears in terms of behavior, their population size puts them at a higher risk of hurting you. In Alaska, moose outnumber bears by roughly 3 to 1, injuring about 5 to 10 humans each year. That's greater than the combined assaults of grizzly and black bears. Moose attacks hurt more people each year than bear encounters, according to a 2011 news article. However, moose attacks seldom result in fatalities. Despite the high occurrence rates, moose do not have an inherent tendency toward violence. The world's largest deer species, Alaskan moose, are impressive. Their bulk, on the other hand, betrays their typically placid disposition. These herbivores eat willows, birches, and grasses by the pound, feeding on plants and tree bark. When moose can't get their lips on these natural meals through the barren winter, Anchorage sees them consume rubbish. The toughest months are March and April, when the wild food supply becomes low and hungry moose crowd in the city and greater numbers. So what's the harm in grazing on garbage? Moose, like people, get irritable when they're hungry and if there's no food around when they come seeking, they're more inclined to lash out. The number of moose assaults increases during mating season in September and October, as well as in early spring, when moms are defending their newborn calves. Number 7. Komodo Dragon the Komodo dragon is a monitor lizard that can only be found on the Indonesian islands of Komodo, Rinka, Flores, and Gilimotang. It belongs to the Varanidae family of monitor lizards. It is the largest lizard species in the planet, growing up to 10 feet long and weighing up to 150 pounds. Komodo dragons are apex predators that, due to their size, dominate the environments in which they live. Komodo dragons hunt for invertebrates, birds, and mammals, among other things. Two glands in the lower jaw are thought to secrete a range of damaging proteins, giving them a venomous bite. Although the biological significance of these proteins is disputed, the fact that the glands generate an anticoagulant has been shown. Komodo dragons have unparalleled collective hunting behavior among reptiles. Komodo dragons devour a lot of carrion and primarily eat Javanrusa, an unfortunate deer species that shares an island with these literal monsters. Komodo dragons attack humans on a regular basis. Komodo dragons were first found by Western scientists in 1910. Because of their enormous size and fearsome reputation, they are popular zoo attractions. As a result of human activity, their native range has reduced, and they are classified as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List. Komodo dragons have been blamed for a number of human deaths, both in the wild and in captivity. According to records from Komodo National Park, there were 24 reported assaults on people between 1974 and 2012, five of which were fatal. The bulk of the victims were residents in the area around the national park. Number 6. Anteater They are toothless, blind, and deaf. Anteaters, nevertheless, can be deadly. A horrific anteater attack in northern Brazil took the life of one hunter just two years after another man was killed in a similar incident with one of the long-nosed animals, according to a recent case study. The attacks should serve as a warning to anyone encroaching on anteater habitat. According to the scientists who published their findings recently in the journal Wilderness and Environmental Medicine, giant anteaters, the largest of the four surviving anteater species, live in savanna-like environments in South and Central America, and may grow up to seven feet long when fully grown. They have four sharp claws on each forelimb, which they may use to attack anthills and termite mounds, as well as inflict fatal wounds on humans. An anteater at the Florencio Varela Zoo attacked and killed a zookeeper with its front claws in April 2007. The anteater in question, Ramen, has a reputation for being aggressive. In the mythology and culture of the Amazon Basin's native groups, the giant anteater is a malicious analog to the jaguar, as well as a humorous character due to its big snout. In one Shipib tale, an anteater challenged a jaguar to a breath-holding competition beneath the river, which the jaguar accepted. After the two removed their pelts and submerged, the anteater jumped out of the water and stole the jaguar's pelt, leaving the jaguar with the anteater's fur. An anteater neighborhood is a dangerous 
dangerous neighborhood, they may just mug you and steal your coat. Number 5. Owls when protecting their young, mates, or territory, owls of all types have been known to attack humans. Unsuspecting joggers and hikers are often targets, victims of owl attacks frequently flee without injury, and owl assaults seldom result in death. A group of people were assaulted by a great horned owl that flew down from the treetops at a Seattle park in 2012. A similar swooping assault occurred in Salem, Oregon in 2015, when a great horned owl repeatedly hit a jogger's scalp, causing him to run. Great horned owls are formidable predators that may reach lengths of more than two feet and have wingspans of more than 80 inches. These owls, which may be found all throughout the Americas, consume tiny rodents and birds, but they have been known to steal larger prey. Their talons have a grip force of up to 500 psi, which is comparable to a big guard dog's bite and therefore powerful enough to permanently disfigure, blind, or kill. In conflicts with larger animals, great horned owls, like most owl species, focus on the face and the head. Number 4. Dolphin Don't be misled by the omnipresent photos of happy-looking dolphins and laughing toddlers that you've undoubtedly seen before. The dolphins aren't happy, it's just their facial structure. Dolphins may appear joyful to humans, yet their smiles are deceptive. Humans communicate happiness, satisfaction, and delight to one another through smiling. The toothy grin of a dolphin, on the other hand, is not a sign of delight, but rather an anatomical abnormality. Because dolphins appear to be happy all of the time, the dolphin entertainment business takes advantage of this misconception to hide its brutality. Dolphins are known to grin even when they are dead. Dolphin entertainment confines these fascinating animals to captivity and encourages them to engage in very unusual activities, such as waving, tail walking, and speaking by withholding food. Captive dolphins are under a tremendous level of stress due to constant physical touch with humans, noisy crowds, screaming music, and concrete tanks that impair echolocation. Dolphins float lifelessly, swim in circles, and chew on the concrete walls or gates of their tanks as a result of this stress. Number 3. Swans In 2012, a 37-year-old Illinois man perished when his boat was knocked over by a swan. The swan, according to witnesses, blocked the guy from swimming to safety. The bird was most likely defending its nest, according to experts. But the man's widow sued the property management business for $50,000 for knowingly maintaining dangerous animals on the premises. Swans have a wingspan of about 7 feet, and while they can hurt you, they are unlikely to kill you or even fracture your bones. According to experts, the hissing and flapping of the wings is largely for show, and swans represent little genuine threat to the average human. The majority of swan injuries occur when the animals are agitated or antagonized, swan injuries are usually the most serious when the animal strikes someone with its wing joint rather than biting or pecking. Most birds would fly toward a perceived threat to defend their nests, but because most birds aren't 30 pounds, few people contemplate the repercussions of, say, a crow getting enraged. Male swans vigorously protect their nests during mating season, which spans from April to July, even though they aren't seeking a battle. They're also not afraid to do it. Swans not only pursue humans, but also geese, foxes, and even boats. Number 2. Hedgehogs Hedgehogs belong to the Aranaceae subfamily of the Aranaceae ulipatiflin family. Hedgehogs are divided into five genera and may be found in areas of Europe. Asia, and Africa, as well as New Zealand, where they were introduced. Hedgehogs aren't native to Australia, and there aren't any surviving species endemic to the Americas. The extinct genus Amphechinus, on the other hand, was once found in North America. Hedgehogs are commonly kept as pets, so thinking of them as deadly may come as a surprise. Their spikes, on the other hand, may be highly harmful to human skin, or anything else that would be a potential predator. 
Hedgehogs spikes lay flat when they feel comfortable, allowing people to pick them up and play with them. When they are threatened, they curl themselves into a ball and extend their spikes vertically. Despite the fact that those spikes might be harmful, there are a lot of cute hedgehog photos on the internet. They are capable of digging their fangs into your flesh. Although they rarely bite, usually people are bitten after waking a sleeping adult hedgehog during the day. Adult hedgehogs have more powerful bites and two tiny rabbit-like front teeth that pierce the flesh when bitten. They like to cling to you for a while, and if you get bitten, you'll have to fight them off. They are capable of digging their fangs into your flesh, although they rarely bite. If you are bitten by an animal, you will require a tetanus shot. If you are not already immunized, you'll also need to see your doctor or go to the hospital so that the wound may be properly cleaned and dressed. Number 1. Poison Dart Frog the poison dart frog is a tiny frog with a body length of half an inch to 2.5 inches. They reside in the Amazon jungle and are known for their vibrant colors, which range from brilliant blues and greens to yellow and black and a variety of other combinations, all of which warn predators that this small frog is not to be trifled with. Subtropical and tropical moist lowland forest, subtropical or tropical moist high altitude shrubland, subtropical or tropical moist montanes and rivers, freshwater marshes, intermittent freshwater marshes, lakes and swamps are examples of natural environments. Seasonally wet or flooded lowland grassland, arable land, pasture land, rural gardens, plantations, moist savanna, and highly degraded former forest are also good places to look for other species. Frogs have also been found in pre-montane woods and rocky places. The poison dart frog derives its name from native tribes people dipping their arrows in the frog's venom to coat them. When an arrow is launched at an adversary, it not only pierces their flesh, but it also contains some of the jungle's most lethal poison. The poisons in these frogs are powerful enough to kill 20 adult men, at least in the deadliest variety, the golden poison frog. Although some snakes have acquired immunity and attack and eat these frogs, this serves as a significant deterrent to predators. The poisons are made up of a mix of compounds that are of considerable medical interest, including a painkiller 200 times stronger than morphine, as well as heart stimulants and hunger suppressants. Which of these cute little beasts would you want to try and pet if you were wearing full body armor? Have you ever seen any of these animals in the wild? Let us know in the comments below. Also check out our other cool stuff, showing up on screen right now. See you next time.